Hi everybody, it's Buzz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Friday, the 13th of May, 2016. Friday the 13th, hoo ha ha. Yes, Georgia. Yes, it is. It's Friday the 13th. Don't be afraid. Anyway, when we talk about Friday the 13th, it has nothing to do with celestial planets or, or anything or occurrences. It's generally time that in Christianity we uh, believe is not an ominous time. It's a, I'm sorry, it's not an auspicious time. And it's a time that uh, uh, bad things can happen. But uh, what I want you to remember is that this day is going to be what you make of it. And the energy you're going to charge this day with is going to influence it more than everything. So wherever you set your intentions, that's where you're going to see your garden blooming. So let's talk about this day a little. And I want to start by talking about Mercury Venus, trining Pluto, and then going down to the lunar aspects of this day. When we look at Mercury Venus, we see a conjunction in the sky. They are talking. Mercury is still in retrograde until uh, 22nd of May. And it's conjuncting Venus and they're both trining Pluto. So we know that Mercury is the planet of communication, of mental processing, and we know that Venus is the planet of uh, relationships, of love, and of money. And we know that these two planets are conversing. So there is a lot of processing going on since it's trining Pluto. It's also beneath the surface on our deeper la layers of our psyche, of our emotional level, of our soul. And it's also above the surface, communicating with others in our lives who are important to us. All of that processing produces and gives birth to new understandings and resolutions and uh, re-understandings in a sense. We re-adapt the way we think, the way we understand things, the way we act, the way we navigate our life at this time, especially concerning our relationships, our love, and the way we produce money and wealth. So we need to really pay attention to that, to be sensitive to that, to give precedence to that, and to our role in front of other people who we have a relationship with in our lives. Now, if we go down to the lunar aspects, we can see that this is a sensitive day. We start this day, if you are in Central Europe, with a quincox between the moon and Pluto. It's a time that we need to keep our mental mind frame flexible we need to not be obsessive about our ideas we need to allow new ideas to sip in and change what we think and then there is a square to that mercury venus between the moon and mercury venus really emotionally challenging all that communication and that inner processing that is taking place there is a trying to uranus at around 16, I'm, I'm sorry, around 1500 hours Central European time, that's around 900 hours Eastern Standard Time. It's a time that we feel a little more rebellious in. We want to be ourselves, we want to get ahead, we want to do our own things. We have a little less, <coughs> excuse me, we have a little less patience than usual. And with all the other aspects, again, we have to watch out for how we act towards other people in our lives. Then there's a square to the sun at around 1700 hours Central European time, that's 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time. Again, a time that could depict a challenge or a conflict between our inner masculine and feminine sides or in our lives between masculine and feminine polarities. And then from 1900, 1900 hours Central European time onwards, that's around 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time, the moon is void of course and the day becomes much more minor. So when we see these lunar aspects together with what we talked about with the trine between Venus and Mercury to Pluto, we understand that this is a very important day regarding the way we act within our relationships, the understandings that we accept, the processing both inner and the communications we have with other people. This is a day that we are remolding ourselves in a sense regarding these issues of relationships, love, and the way we acquire possessions and money. And we have to give it uh, the, the due respect, in a sense, and pay attention to it. So, 
Thank you for listening. Have a happy weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.